Uh, hey, this is Frank from Battle Geek Plus, and we're here at E3 at the Nintendo area, and we're going to try to get some Star Fox Zero gameplay for you. So here it goes. All right, looks like Frank's getting ready to play some Star Fox on the Corneria level. Star Fox hasn't looked this good since the Nintendo 64. And I think Frank's going to be able to make this look really awesome for us today. Mission objectives, this is so nostalgic of just how Star Fox looked back in the day. Even the way they take off right there. So we're going to do that Corneria mission with Frank. What you just saw right there was the end of the Corneria mission. So we're going to start now. What's really cool about this is that this game has sort of like a first person view from the Wii U pad. And then it has like the classic Star Fox like third person view from the top. So right there on the, main, on the television screen. This is opening up just like Star Fox or Star Fox 64, more so 64 with the water. Frank, stop barrel rolling. You don't need to barrel roll just yet. I know Happy's talking to you, but you don't need to barrel roll just yet. Yeah, he's controlling it really good so far. One of the better playthroughs I've seen today. It's pretty amazing. Got some enemies getting ready to come up here in a second. They're gonna come on screen almost like the beginning. But not quite. Don't want to transform on the water like that. All right, here we go. This looks just like Corneria City. It's got the great music, got the doors you can blast open, laser upgrades that are just oh so familiar. Everything just starts off feeling just right. Hopefully he can boost through this. Oh, he didn't need to. Those gold rings look shinier than ever, but they do look like they still have the corners like they did on Star Fox and Star Fox 64. I figured they would be perfectly round by this point. I guess it's a stylistic choice. Looks a bit more techno that way. You know, kind of sci-fi. Slippy, get out of the way. Nobody likes you. All right. More rings. We got the waterfall kind of area that, that's uh, sort of familiar for like Star Fox 64. Got some secret areas, but it looks a little bit different. Like, it feels the same, but it feels a little bit different at the same time. So, we got the robots that throw, like, the debris at you. That's just classic right there, robots knocking down debris. This is the sort of thing, you're just gonna have to play it several times, memorize the enemy placement. He just transformed into Star Fox 2 mode. Now, if you don't know, Star Fox 2 was in development for the Super Nintendo, and it had a walker mode like this, but it just ended up not happening, and they ported a lot of the stuff, a lot of the ideas, such as all range mode and whatnot, over to Star Fox 64. But this was not one of the things that made it. So we're finally getting to see that in sort of a proper Star Fox game. Sure, there have been other Star Fox games since 64, but now with enemies like this in the bunches, if Frank was able to lock onto one and hit it, he would be able to take the entire group out for extra points. So, but it doesn't look like a lot of people are getting that down yet. Still, you know, pretty rusty. Haven't played a good Star Fox in a long time. So this is where a diverging path seems to take place right here, where you're going to follow Falco, just like you would in Star Fox 64, you know, diverging off the path in Corneria to fight a different boss than you normally would. Now, I don't know if it's a different boss or if just a different scenario takes place from taking the different path and it all goes to the same place. But, okay, so we are looking at, looks like we're gonna have to rescue General Pepper. That's a new one. Usually he's never in any sort of danger or anything. He's safe at the base, just telling you what to do. Hey, I'm paying you guys, right? So, 
we're hitting something that looks a lot like all range mode. I didn't notice if you would actually if they actually called it that or if they just kind of switched to that. So obviously somersaults and and you know flips and U-turns and all that stuff. All that stuff is back. It looks like it's just as intuitive as ever. Looks like when you hit the when you hit the invisible wall, you do end up coming back. We got looks like someone from Andros's forces here that we need to pay attention to. Uh oh. We got some crawly, groundy, spidery things coming out. So you could probably take these out from the air, but you might be able to get a better aim if you actually turn into walker mode. Let's see what Frank does. Oh, walker mode right there. Okay, so this will give him a better way of actually... Ah, I see. This will give him a, that would have given him a better way of seeing where the enemy was and whatnot. But maybe he's just going to fly by and just fight him just like that. Looks like those legs. He needs to hit that weak spot right there. Oh, wow. He's like got the, got the enemies to attack each other. That's really neat. That's something that is brand new. Something I've never seen before. So, there we go. So, looks like hitting the legs of that robot before wasn't going to do anything. You needed to, just like a boss, hit that weak spot, that super obvious weak spot that everybody knows about when it comes to playing Star Fox. So, now that he has the higher ground, he can actually use the walker, which is why he wasn't able to use it before. So, looks like he's got another two that he needs to take down. Oh, there we go. One more. Let's see if he can get it. That other one's up high last we looked. So, he may need to get some distance, get a little higher, come back, and hit it with some more shots. Just like that. Bam, one shot, he's down. Oh, missed that one. Let's see what's going on. Got to lock on to him first. Nice. Didn't even have to lock on. Hit him with the twin lasers. Man, there's more than I initially thought. Let's see how many more Frank has to take down before this is over. Oh, that's Star Fox music. Oh, looks like he's able to look at what's going on from a side point of view. That's new to Star Fox as well. And you could flip back to something a little less side scrolly. There it is. He was able to get a wider look. Found that one that was hiding. Can he get it from a distance? Oh, he got it. All right, phase two complete. That's really nice how they do the phases now. They show phase one, phase two. They let you know what part of the stage you're in and whatnot. It's really nice. Of course you're in our debt. Yeah. We're mercenaries. Uh-oh. What's this going on? Weaponized Flying Fortress Androsa. Wow. Looks like a big flower. Let's see if what Frank can do against this enemy ship. Now this looks like something off of uh, also Star Fox 64 with the ship that was trying to take out the base and you were uh, flying around with Bill. Looks like with this, if you take... Oh, no, no. Frank, reverse, reverse. Do a barrel roll. Do 12 barrel rolls. Do all the barrel rolls. All right. Let's see if he can knock out another segment. All right. I suppose if he knocks out enough of these segments, he'll be able to expose its weak point. Oh, he's using the gamepad to see first person so he can aim directly into the ship. 
go into walker mode and this is straight out of Star Fox 2 right here and showcases what the walker mode is really all about. Star Fox 2, you can find an SNES, uh, two beta versions of it, one pretty much complete uh, in ROM form, but that would be illegal. So don't do that, kids. So take a look at this. This is pretty much exactly what we were missing from Star Fox 2. Anybody who's missing Star Fox 2 can now finally experience it the way it was meant to and more on the Wii U. Took out that enemy ship like that. That was amazing. The textures look amazing. The characters look amazing. The R wings, everything looks amazing. Mission accomplished. Star Fox is back. That was amazing. I'm Josh. This is Battle Geek Plus. You just saw Frank's playthrough. We're at E3 2015. Good to go.